Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can inject dependencies as action parameters in ASP.NET Core Web APIs. So in Web APIs, if you want to inject your dependencies in your controllers, first you pass your dependency as a parameter in the constructor and then create a private variable where you map your argument with the private variable and then finally consume that dependency. Now in .NET 7, you don't need to do that. You can pass your service as an action parameter in the method and you can directly use them. And this is pretty cool if you just want to use your service for just a couple of methods or only one method. You don't need to create a private variable and even, you know, pass this dependency in your controller's constructor. So let's check it out. For that, I'm gonna go to my VS Code here. And here I'm gonna create a web API. I'm gonna create .NET web API, which is going to create a typical web API, which will uh, give you weather forecast for the next five days. It creates a weather forecast controller. And you know, it has this private weather summary, which is a string array, and then it gives you weather forecast for the next five days. Now let's move this logic to a service so that we can inject it. For that, I'm gonna create a weather service class, and let's give a namespace, which is gonna be web API. And then I'm going to create a class, which is going to be weather service, of course. And in here, we'll copy the logic to get the weather forecast for the next five days. So I'm going to copy this uh, string array and then this logic. We'll have to create a method. So I'm going to create public void get weather forecast. And in this, I'm going to paste that logic. And let's change the return type to innumerable for weather forecast instead of void. Now that we have this weather service, let's, you know, add this weather service in the container. And then we will try to inject it into our controller. For that, I'm going to go to my program.cs and then builder services add transient and this is gonna be weather service and we'll have to bring in a namespace here which will detect this class now instead of you know injecting this logger we are already injecting this logger instead of that let's inject our weather service so I'm going to say weather service and instead of naming it underscore logger, I'm going to name it as underscore weather service and then, you know, pass it here. There are so many steps that you need to do in order to consume a service. So here I'm going to say weather service. We'll pass it into our constructor and name it as weather service map it to our rabbit variable and finally we will return underscore weather service get weather forecast now this works fine let's run it and see if that works fine or not so i'm gonna navigate to that folder and say dot net watch and this should just work fine it should get compiled and it should give us the weather forecast for the next five days so it'll open swagger and here I'm going to try it out and you'll see that our weather forecast is working fine. Now in .NET 7, now if I go back to my project file here, you can see that I've already installed .NET 7 and that's the target framework here. You don't need to do these steps. What you can do is you can get rid of these steps. We don't need to do that. Our controller is nice and clean. Instead of that, you can just pass it as a parameter, as an action parameter. And you can copy this argument and use that to consume your dependency. Now I'm gonna restart my application so that you know our new code gets compiled. And now if I go back and try to consume my API, it works just fine. 
you can see that how clean our code is now. And this was inspired from Minimal API. It works in Minimal API too. Let's try it out. With that, I'm going to stop this and let's create a Minimal API. I'm going to type that here actually. Let's create a Minimal API. I'm going to say .NET new Minimal API and it will create a folder here. And this is .NET 7 and it just has program.cs which is returning hello world here let's copy our weather forecast and uh, weather service in minimal api and let's try to consume it so here if i want to consume this weather service i'm going to have to first you know add a using statement using statement which is going to be weather api and we'll have to you know add that service into our container so i'm going to say builder services and add transient and i'm going to add my weather service and now instead of returning hello world i would like to return weather forecast for the next five days so here i'm going to say weather service weather service and instead of hello world I'm going to say weather service dot get weather forecast and that should work fine. Let's run this. I'm going to say dot net. Let's first navigate to that folder and then I'm going to say dot net watch and this should bring in the browser and it should show weather forecast for the next five days. So this is how you can just, you know, pass your service as action parameter and directly use them in controllers in web apis and in minimal api too let me know what you think in the comment section below before i end the video i would like to thank my members for youtube channel thanks for supporting the channel and if you have any questions you can ask them in the comment section below or you can reach out to me on my twitter or facebook handle thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one bye